The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Is Trump freaking crazy? He's fighting with the Pope. I don't believe this. This is going to be so great. This is Ken Gidget, and this is The Art of Politics. I am the Democrat. Of course, Democrats are the best. And over here, we have John Burt, representative from Goffstown, who is a Republican. Yes. And you look nothing like Al Baldessaro. I, I don't? No. No, you don't. But let us, I want to tell you where he well, is. Well, thank you for well, having okay. me on. Well, no, I'm glad you're here. We'll, we'll say, well, let's say hi to Golfstown first. Say hi to Golfstown. Yes. Hi, Golfstown, and, uh, you know, I appreciate you watching, and I'll be airing this show right up there. No, well, okay. So who, give me a, give names. Well, I, my, my favorite neighbors, uh, you know, I got all good neighbors, and I'm so lucky because I've heard the nightmares. Uh, and I got good neighbors. So you're the bad neighbor. Oh no, no! I, you know, everybody likes me down my, yeah, down okay. in the hole there where I live on right. the river. And uh, but you know the Voltmans, they they're good supporters of mine. They they speak. Well, me the up. police chief like you? I don't know about the new one. The fire fire chief like you? I think he tolerates me. Tolerates you. In other <laughs> words, the, well, you're I just, not for unions. So well, and I just told everybody on my my TV show in Goffstown to vote against Article 13, which is the 2.3 million for the fire department, because what it's going to do is it will guarantee 24-hour fire in about three to five years, and we've always voted that down. We have what do you mean 24? We have volunteers. Okay. That take over like at six o'clock, in. I support that. Matter of fact, I support all volunteers, you know, base, you know, because over 76% of America is 100% volunteer fire. And there are cities with 100,000 people in them, 200,000, that are 100% volunteer. No, I don't believe that. I could get you the numbers. 200,000, I don't believe it. Outside of New York, they're all well, volunteers. I don't believe you. They do have uh, administration staff. I do staff. not believe you. I'll bring the numbers. No, nope, I'll, be I'll bet you they get paid too. Uh, they get a stipend. Ah, just like so, our. Uh, there we go, ladies well, and Well, just gentlemen. like our volunteers. See, this is how Republicans do it. <laughs> this is how you're. Well, doing see, it. I disagree with the stipend even because when I was a volunteer fireman in Vermont, it was a hundred percent. Nobody paid my gas. You know, nobody paid nothing. You know when you need real firemen. Pro in many cases, some people Never. need a real fireman. Real, uh, you know, need one for whatever reason. They need them within sixty seconds. Uh, two minutes, three minutes, not ten minutes, not eight no. minutes. There's no not time 15 lapse. Fifteen minutes, zero time lapse. Oh, really? So all the volunteers are just drop whatever they're doing and run. So why is seventy-six to seventy-eight percent of America on volunteer? It's a huge number. All right, I got a, I got a question. I all right, that's a all right, that's a nice statistic, and I and I love when one does statistics. <laughs> I make them up most of the time. All right. <laughs> But well, this one's true. Google I it. wonder how many of these volunteer firemen that were fire departments that were volunteer fire departments that had a catastrophe where several people died in a fire that they immediately went to a fire department. You don't need many, maybe two people, just to Won't coordinate happen. the. There's no difference between a volunteer and a full-time fire, other than the huge money 
for the full-time fire. Excuse me, excuse me. A full-time fireman, they're there, I think, what is it, 24 hours a day, and then they, they're off for... Well, no, hours is there, 12 hours, you know, eight hours shifts, but it's, you know, we only have a full-time for 12 hours so a day. So they show and up then, at the fire station? Yes. Well, so the vol so, so I've been to a bunch oh, of I've been God's to several sakes. but Ken I've been to a several fires in Manchester where they have unbelievable firemen at a huge cost to the taxpayers and guess what their buildings look identical to the volunteer town you know, the towns that have volunteer fires they're all burnt well in the body you know the the lives are saved yeah well you know, volunteers uh, okay, care what and I mean you know the vol what, full times do hold too. On a what you're saying is 24 hours a day, how many firemen are there? In Goffstown? Yes. No, in, in Kalamazoo, <laughs> Michigan. Uh, and we're talking zero. about Goffstown. Zero. We do not have 24-hour fire. There's nobody sitting there. Nope. There's nobody inside the... After All 6 right. o'clock at night, there is they, not. They, they're done. Everybody shuts down. So they it, go home. if there's a fire... Then the volunteers rush to the station within a minute. Just like Within that. a minute, and there they would have to live right next to it. All right. Well, I just think it, I just I understand what you're saying. You don't want to vote for it. Go ahead. Tell tell the taxpayers. Yes. No. It. You know. Go so ahead, I'm telling right. them. I think it's Article uh, 13. But you know, probably the time this airs, the you know March 8th, I think the election will be over by then. So I don't know what will so happen. So you don't want them to vote for for the money. No, that's what I told them last week on my show. Okay. And so before the election, they'll be seeing my show to please, you know, not vote for this because it will cause 24-hour fire, you know, that we'll have to hire 24-hour firemen. And the town has notoriously, every time it comes on the ballot, votes it down handsomely. They say we are happy with the 12-hour service that we have in the 12 hours of volunteers. And you know something? You know, so that sounds really good until, you know, it, it, I understand what you're saying, but how many lives are lost? Zero. No, in well, I mean in Golfstown. All right. Zero. Okay, you say nothing happens in Golfstown. Everybody's there's no I mean, fires in Golfstown. When we have a None fire, at all. you know, we are not losing people because how of about not, property? You know, but the fires during the day look identical to the fires at night. The the buildings black. So it's like, okay, there's a hundred I, I, there's a hundred thousand dollars worth I, of damage. I, I, you're on, telling on me there's a difference between day and night. With fires. <laughs> <laughs> well, know, I mean the, are there more the, at night or are there more No, I think it's all you know equal. I, Aha, mean, yes, I, got I do you. not know. Statistically there are more at night. I got you, are ladies there? and gentlemen, up in Gulfstown. They run away, <laughs> they go home at six o'clock and they got nothing. Let's move on. <sighs> all right. Uh, yeah, that is God again. Well, but so what do you think about the Pope beating on our well, poor Well, I mean, let's talk about Baldessaro first. Cause yeah. we, or you know, that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Al's not here because Al is with Trump. In South and, Carolina. Exactly. I, when I, I called him last night, and he was coming, driving from somewhere back to Greenville, North Carolina or South Carolina, and he, they had organized the veterans, et cetera. So he's out there, and he was on C-SPAN. You know that morning program yes. with, the, with the, the Democrat and the Republican yeah. phone calls? Yeah. And he, was, he was there for 45 minutes. I mean, this guy's becoming a superstar. Oh, he is. Well, I saw him on Fox News uh, uh, standing behind Trump. Now, I don't know if you know the Al's a Marine. Oh, yeah, of course. Not. What are you talking about? Do I know that? He's been here for 40 shows. It goes, it goes, well, well, I mean, he's very he, vocal he lets about you know it. He's yes. a Marine. Okay. Well, that's why I'm joking. Not a soldier. That's a right. A Marine. Okay. Well, but I did see his shirt had a small wrinkle, and I was going to text him saying, Al, you're a Marine. Make sure that's Oh, shirt. my God. Yes, I, it had a little crease on it, and I was like, <gasps> You know, because Marines are, you know, they're... I know, I know, they, I know. They they're, stand. They're, they're pains on the neck. No, no, <laughs> I don't stand, mean that. They're standing proud. Uh, Al is a pain in the neck. So, uh, and allegedly, they got the best-looking uniform. That's what they all say. Yeah, well, that's what they all <laughs> say, right? It's, there's no fires at night in Gulfstown. Yes. All right, just like that. Uh, but Al is uh, potentially, if Trump ever got in, I think there would be a position for... Uh, Al in the, in, in the Veterans Administration I agree. in Washington. I agree. I mean, that's... he's that good. Yes. I've heard Trump mention his name. Yeah. Oh, yes. 
So. Uh, well, I went to the San Anselm's uh, uh, ABC debate, and the only person that was mentioned on the stage was Al Baldacero. None of the other presidential candidates mentioned anybody, but Trump mentioned Al. And I'm like, and as I say, I can't get my name mentioned if I run over a nun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know what I liked is how the audience was booing Trump, and then Trump comes right back at the debate, uh, the ABC debate before our primary, and he goes, "Ah, you guys are just all paid. You know, you're uh, big donors." That's what he said. He says that's the only reason you're booing me. I mean, he comes back like that. Well, do you really want him? As well, the I voted for the United Cruz. States? <laughs> oh, you're Cruz. going for Cruz? Yeah, I'm a Cruz guy. Well, I I I saw Bill O'Brien, who is helping Cruz, who has been on yes. the show 31 times. As a matter of fact, he was the co-host. Well, he's down there too, O'Brien. Oh yes. So I saw him on television, standing next to Cruz. Yeah. I point and I say to my wife Lee, "Look, there's Bill." And then we go to the next channel, and there's Baldassaro, <laughs> and I'm going, what's going on here? Of course, I, I make it really clear to them that I taught them everything they know. Yeah. Now, I saw a picture of you and Bill, but I don't see you standing behind Hillary at any of these events. No. Why no, not? No, I'm... Uh, I don't or are you going to de you. Are no, you no, defect, no, no, to, are I, you defect into Bernie? I, no, no, of course not. I help, <laughs> but I, I don't... I don't need the publicity, if you know what I mean. The only time you need publicity as a politician is if you can use it to get things done. Like your show, you mentioned, don't pay. Yes. Okay, so that's, okay, and, and I just don't, you know, I'm, I just don't do that. I'll help, I just don't, it's not necessary to be front and center. I don't know. Yeah. I just don't, there's a lot more people like, like myself, uh, it, but you know, uh, well, let's talk about Trump. Let's go down the list. But the key person of this election, absolutely, and everybody out there remember that, you listen to me and you're going to hear something that's factual. And the, 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 the key person to this entire election, and I mean winning or losing, is Bernie Sanders. So let's talk about Trump first. Now, Trump, the Pope, Goes after Trump. Well, he said he didn't go after him, but he just state, made a fact that if somebody builds a wall, they aren't a Christian. When you should build bridges. Yes, but why is there a wall around the Vatican? Well, I, I was told no, because no, no, the that, Muslims attacked him in 800, the year 800, approximately. Oh, I believe that. Well, 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 but now we have peaceful Muslims, so why don't they tear that wall down? Well, why would you tear a wall down if it's up? Well, because I mean, you know, Reagan because it, they're, requested it's a wall. more organized because they built up against the wall and stuff like that. Well, I mean, but Reagan on. decided to small. tear a wall down, and he got it no, done. No, so it wasn't under Reagan. It was under Bush that it came down. Well, that's true. So but, let's uh, not but say Reagan did Reagan everything. Reagan set, didn't do everything. Well, he's next thing to God, but in my oh. <laughs> God. Hey, I bet you most of our viewers. He's the only individual who was an actor who played a part with a chimpanzee and becomes a president of the United well, States. Well, how does he win 50 states and then 49 states the next time, or vice versa? Because the word is, and it is factual, he's a great actor and he's a great communicator, and that is just the truth. Well, he knows it, is Trump that very way, easy to remember lines in, in his early days, uh, knows the importance of how you look, uh, you know, the, I paid for this, Mike, you know, oh, I mean, yeah. things like that. But, uh, okay, let's, let's yeah. get to Trump. Yeah. So the Pope goes to Mexico, Mexico and stands across the river and talks to the people in the United States and also talking to the people in, in Mexico. Yes. And he makes a comment and Trump gets mad. Which rightfully he should. So the Pope becomes a pawn. Yes. And, and I don't becomes, think the Pope wanted to. The Pope becomes a pawn. Okay. <laughs> so, but it's interesting. I, I, and I'm going to tell you something. And, and I'd like someone to check this out. And that is... Trump is now going to church, okay? 
Well, I think all politicians I do would that. like to know before he got involved if he ever went to church. That's a good question. But is it, you know, you know but are, are we supposed, is that supposed to be relevant in a, well, Abraham a blindfolded? Lincoln, well, Abraham Lincoln didn't go. You know what he said? What? I, I, I happen to agree with him. When I do good, I feel good. And when I do bad, I feel bad. And that was his, his yeah. whole philosophy. Yeah. That I'd rather do good, obviously, because you'd rather feel better. Yes. Feel, feel good. But uh, I don't know why the wall, okay, uh, Trump. Uh, they, what is he doing that you like? Trump. And or, you know what I can't, what I don't understand? Trump, you know how many things rhyme with Trump? <laughs> yeah. Lump, yeah. stump, rump. <laughs> and no one has come up with a rhyme. That's true. Yeah, that is true. So uh, Now, uh, I, I guess with Trump, uh, what, you know, again, I voted for Cruz because I, I like what Cruz is saying and how he's going to handle stuff. But with Trump, there are a few things that I do like. I like that he stirred the pot. I think that's healthy for okay. America. Trump, bump, stump, lump. Yes. <laughs> come up with another one. <laughs> you can't come up with one? No, I can't. Trump? I mean, there's slump. You can almost put any oh, yeah. letter in front of it. <laughs> okay. All right. Then, yeah, we're gonna start. We're gonna start doing one. All right. Then we'll try. We'll do one for Hillary also. Don't worry about it. Clinton has got to be, you know, a whole bunch of. So Cruz, you so you're saying that Trump stared it up. So that's good. And now yes, Cruz I think it's steps good. in. Oh, I think. Well, they're saying Cruz is second right now with Rubio right on his heels. In South Carolina. But I heard that so, Cruz is right on the heels of Trump. He is. Yeah, so there's three of them. But that, is he a liar? The way Trump says, I mean. Well, I mean, you know, but, he's, you know, but it, Trump says that about everybody. You know, not a liar, but he has a story about everybody. You know, Bush, he, you know, he's against Bush, he's against Hillary, he's against Bernie, he's against everybody. And so I'm looking at it going, you know, it's only lip service. Yeah, yeah, well. Yo, but, but the thing is, is he has a huge following because he is stirring yeah, the trouble. He pulls up with his jet plane, Trump on it, brings his <laughs> helicopter to give kids a ride in it. Come on. I mean, he's, hey, big, he's bigger one, than I would. life. He had his own <laughs> reality show. He's just doing another reality show. <laughs> and, you know, this could make him a lot of money. He but, could get out right now and make a lot of money. Oh, yes. But now with uh, if Bush doesn't finish well, he's done, I think. You think so? Yeah, if he finishes fourth or fifth, he, yeah. Okay, we're, we're, Especially fifth, uh, this show one. will be played probably Saturday, oh, yeah. this Saturday. Yeah, so it's going to be so close to So that's the, when the election yeah. will be taking place. Yeah. Okay, so, all right, great. Now, well, how about your candidate? You know, if Bernie beats her in uh, South Carolina, which they're saying is that close. All right. What's going to happen? All right, then? all right. I want to just make a point because I've been thinking about this. Yeah, ah, we go like this, New Hampshire super did. Delegates. Like New Hampshire. That doesn't mean anything, for God's sake. New Ham super Bernie delegates. wins by a lot. And not that I'm a Bernie fan, but, but the Hillary wins New Hampshire make a, by delegates. No, in the in the stupid delegates to say what? That's the They're problem. gonna give her the primary well, the, that, the, no, uh, no, the election. No, no, no. They no. go to the conventions to pick the nominee. Yes. So See, in, in, I, I in, told you God talked about quite a bit. I got to and Bernie will run a third well, campaign, which for, will be for, great for us. First, first, or of, all, for my party. I, first of all, I don't agree with Hillary getting the, the delegates simply. She won fair and square, and, and that's it. But let my, I have a whole theory here. And what must be done, something wisdom must come through. Now, politics and wisdom, rarely, you probably could say Lincoln possessed wisdom in politics. Yes. That was an awful, awful historic time. So now you have a candidate who's 74 years old, right, who is a socialist, all right? Yeah, okay. or borderline communist. You have... Divide it. All right, and he has been a, was a congressman and a senator for 30 plus years. We need term limits. 
both parties. <clears throat> I don't agree. But anyway, now you have Hillary Clinton who helped her husband get uh, the governorship twice. Yes. Okay. Then helped him become president twice. Eight years of a first lady. Yep. Okay. And being involved. Then getting out and running for this, being a senator of New York, which is... Well, but that like, was handed to her. That's like tag team. That's not easy. But, but that was handed to her. That's no, why she moved uh, to New all York. All right, no. It's not, not the thing is ever handed to you, especially in New York. But, but, okay. So she has that, and then she runs. She comes in second. Nobody ever loses. Everyone comes in second or third. There's no losers here. Yes. All right. So then she runs against Barack Obama, and guess what? He, she loses. Barack Obama, Obama asked her be, to become Secretary of State, and she did for four years. She knows everybody. There's nobody who doesn't know her yep. or because of Clinton, et cetera. Now you got Bernie Sanders, 74, and a socialist. He is the key to everything because what he has done is he has taken the energy of the young, the same energy I felt at Fenway Park when I was making an attempt to, you know, uh, to go for a, you know, a particular politician who did nothing. Was did that Abe Lincoln? Yes, right, Lincoln. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and the problem was that this this politician who had all the young people, when he realized that he wasn't going to make it, all right. He didn't turn around to the Democratic Party and say, or, or his people, and, and say, look, now the, the whole job simply has to be from our party because you can't get it through the Republicans. You just can't do it. Bernie Sanders has an opportunity. If he has wisdom, and Hillary needs wisdom, and he's not going to make it or feels like he's not going to make it, how is he going to transition his people, and will he transition his people? But Hillary Clinton would have to agree that Sanders would have to play some part in the election. Yes. And well, you can't lose. I met a gentleman, two guys, that was visiting from New York City yesterday at the State House. And they said they were Bernie supporters, even though their whole family, both sides, you know, they said, oh, yeah, my parents are mad at me because they're all Hillary people. Yeah. And they said if Bernie took off into a third party or didn't win and he should have won because, like, okay, what happened okay, in New Hampshire. No, 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 you know, no, no. He, he says they're sticking with him. They would, they would go to Hillary? No, they're going to defect and stay no, with Bernie. No, excuse me. Excuse me. Bernie's out now, and he has oh, an okay. opportunity to go with Hillary. Why? He, yeah, he wouldn't run as a third party. That, but he's saying that it, because well, that's taken away from the Democratic Party. That's not stupid. You're, yeah. <laughs> well, but I think yes, Bernie has a better chance with Hillary than he does Trump or Cruz. Of course, of course. Of be, so of, I think of, Bernie's going to have to make that decision. Yes, it, yes. But with the energy of those people. With the energy that he of brings. The, uh, well, that I he think brings. some of them won't vote because they'll be peed well, out. Well, that's the point. Yes. You, if you're going for someone for a particular reason, and he turns around and says, look, I'm not going to make it. There are a number of reasons why. Yeah. But our party must because it's the only party heading in a particular direction. Yeah. He has, he has it. Well, but I He's think the he queen can, maker. But he can drag He's 70, 80 percent of his supporters over to Hillary. But it's that 20% that don't go. No, no. no. I yeah. think it's that number. No, and, and the reason, or close. The reason why is there's so much energy because of the young. He is the key to everything. But, but Hillary has to understand this and want Bernie to help during the rest of the campaign. Sending him out alone, going uh, with her. I mean, come I on. I agree. You know, the Democratic That's, that's party. her only smart way to do it. That's right. But if he starts losing, then he drops out and she disses him, I think there'll be a... No, no, no. This has to, that's why I said wisdom. There has to be some wisdom here. And the Democrats can win the presidency again ah. because the Republicans can't. 
No. Okay, I, I, that's how I see it. How do you see it on, as a Democrat? If you were a Democrat, you're a Republican, how do you see it? Uh, with the, I just gave you some information. How do you see it? If, if I was a Democrat? Yeah. I don't think I can remove enough brain out of me to become that. But. You don't have much <laughs> brain to move out of you. Okay. Well, all right, let me tie my hands behind my bag so that way I can become a Democrat. I didn't say you become a Democrat. As a Republican, <laughs> well, you're looking at the Republican oh. Democratic Party. How do you see it? I see they have a huge problem. And the problem is? Bernie Sanders has support. And Hillary Correct. never thought that support would be there. Correct. And now she's going, uh-oh, what do I do? Okay, question. Bernie Sanders will be 75 if he goes into the White House. How old was Reagan? Reagan left at 78. So he would be 79. Reagan was that old when he left? Yes, 78. Oh, 78 he was years old. Okay. Now, I thought he was your God. He's your God. He I know is. more I about know your religion be than you know about your religion. He was going to be 105 this year, I know. He, he has been 105. Well, he you is 105, too? yes. <laughs> but of course, how much, and, and you had a particular operation and you lost a lot of weight. How much weight did you lose? I'm down 81 pounds. 81 pounds. Yeah. So probably some of the yeah. brain things <laughs> went with it, with it also. Okay, so you see Hillary having a big problem. It, she does. If she doesn't pull off Super Tuesday in South Carolina with more than a 10, 15%, she needs that 10 to 15% gain above Bernie. She's got issues. Now, because she lost New Hampshire, and it's questionable if she really won with the coin toss, with the six coin toss, which was not precedent in, uh, in Ohio. You know, or Iowa. Uh, Iowa, you, yeah, know, Iowa. You, know, you know something. That that's to me is not even an election. That well, I is agree. the weirdest thing in the world. I, I, All right, everybody who <laughs> for Hillary over here, and there's nobody sneaking over and getting voted. You know, being counted twice. But if you ever saw cheating going yeah. on, it would be in Iowa. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you see it. Yeah, I, I'm looking at you know Bernie is a huge thorn in her side it, in the in the Democrat Party okay. side because As, even um, who's your um, leader there, Schultz? Um, I don't know. You know. She used to be a congresswoman. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I know who she is. I can't mention her. I can't. Yeah, her yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's something Schultz. She was Gidford's oh. good buddy. Yeah. Okay. Um, she even says, you know, Houston, we got an issue. <laughs> yeah. And, and, you know, and here comes Bernie with his bus and, you know, everybody's on it. And they're like, you know, what do we do with this guy? And I, I think they're lost. You know, it's the same way with the Republican Party. They're lost with Trump. They're, they're looking at the establishment going, oh, my God, we got this wild man, Trump, you know, bouncing everybody off the walls. That's and, why I say Bernie Sanders is the key to everything, but it's going to take wisdom. Yeah. Now, you got to remember, anybody who wins keeps winning elections like that and gets patted on the back and agrees with everything you say, yeah. guess what? There's something called ego. Oh, yeah. That's why. I think you, both of them have you, it. you asked me why I, you, I don't have a picture. I have a picture of standing beside her, but not on TV or anything like yeah. that. It's egotistical to do that. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Yeah. If I had to, I would, obviously. But that's interesting, isn't it? it this it is. is all interesting. It is. Well, I mean, I know a lot of people say, you know, they don't want Bernie or Trump to win. But they said, God, could you imagine the debates? So they, if Trump and, and Bernie won the primary. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, the complete opposite. It, the debates would just, I mean, oh, the viewership, I bet you, would be out. I mean, the news media would just be begging for this. Well, first of all, that's not going to happen. But it's a... We don't know. It, oh, uh, come on. The no, I'm serious. The Republicans are going to turn around and start saying socialist. And come on. Well, they of course all, I'm going to say they're it. Gonna, they're going to ease a socialist. This is not a... We don't need socialism. I mean, it goes on and on and on. So he's going to have to backpedal. Anytime you have to backpedal, that's it. That's... You can't go forward. Yeah. You can't even stand still. Yeah. Okay. So... I mean, Trump, I would love to see Bernie win, only because I think he's the easiest one to beat. Uh, yeah, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. That's I 
I'm sorry to say I believe that. That's yeah. one of that's why he's the key. He's the kingpin of, he of everything. So why doesn't and Hillary beating, make him be, a deal? He would beat the Republicans with Hillary's people and his people. Definitely. So why isn't Hillary make cutting a deal with him? Because you know, sadly, and not all the viewers know this, DC makes deals. Some of them I don't like, a lot of them I don't like. But so why isn't she saying, hey, look, if you knock this off, I'll do ABC? No, then not every, then the fact is that, that it's a contradiction. If she's not doing that, then not all people from D.C. make deals. They're talking behind closed doors, I guarantee it. They're talking behind closed doors. I you guarantee mean, you they have it, to. So there's wisdom there. Well, wisdom is that Hillary is scared saying, why is this guy a and monkey on think, my back? And you don't think Trump is scared? No, I think his ego is big enough where I don't think he is scared. <laughs> you know, and I think you almost agree with me on that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, you know, Trump and, and my good friend Al Baldessero, I mean, they... Oh my God! There he goes, oh there. My God. <laughs> Alan Trump. They got the they got the big egos. Boy, this is. The, I think you're going to catch hell from him. I, I just am. have a feeling. I don't I mean, think he's going to want you here again. In the couple times I've met Trump personally, yeah. I mean, I I like the guy, but I, you know, I didn't vote for him. But I mean, I do like him. I mean, yeah. if he won the primary, you know, I I'd be like, okay, you know, I'm not going to be upset. Okay, I got rump. I'm putting rump down. Yeah, rump. Uh, uh, everything that. Did you do clump? Clump. Okay, clump. Uh, we can make. Uh, you should make a video. Well, we are. We will. I oh. think Richard. Will. Okay. <laughs> All right. But, but every, I, I don't know why people haven't used this speed bump. I oh. mean. Yeah. There, there's got. I got a YouTube. You know, I got to yeah. check on YouTube because I bet you there's got to be parodies. Because if there's not, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll do one yes. and we'll put it on. All right. Yeah, we'll get millions of hits. Yeah, we'll get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Al we, has friends. Yeah. <laughs> so. in, in high places. Yeah. You know, it, or, it well, may. anyway, may, we'll put masks on this. Of course, you'll yeah. never know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, how, Cruz is your person. Yep. Why? Because he wants to address the issues we have with the Department of Education, uh, with the IRS. Get rid of Department of Education. Well, he wants to bring the money back, yes. He wants to get rid of the federal and bring the money back okay. to the state. Okay, and get rid of... Uh, the EPA. Not, he, not what, fully the what EPA, else? but cut, what else? you know, slap the EPA. He wants to get rid down. of... What else? Well, there's the EPA. Uh, uh, IRS. He wants to get rid of the I uh, IRS. Uh, yes, I think he wants to go to a wants more... wants to get rid um, of you know, get EPA. rid of the EPA. Not fully get rid of the EPA, and then get but rid of slap what else? them down. Get rid of what else? I, I think all the departments need an overhaul. All right, okay. So he wants to get rid of a little, most of the EPA. He wants to get rid of schools. No, the Department of, the Federal Department, Department, of, Education, Department of Education will be gone. That will be gone. No Department of Education. Or this much instead of this much. You know. But but Ken, how can that's worse than being a socialist for God's sakes? How did how did we survive for two hundred years before? Um, was it Carter? Well, let, let me started see. the Department we have, of Education. Yes, but we have three hundred, all right, and thirty million people. It doesn't matter. We have, you know, a third of a billion people now. Guess what? You need some. Wait a minute. If this is the best country in the world. Why are you screwing around with it? Then why are we twentieth in education? Why in the are, world? And why do we, well? That's that's a very good because that's these a, that's a we very used good point. to before the seventies we were number one or in the top five. Now the Department of Education was born, and now we are twentieth. No, it's not. That's the problem. With my son, I'm telling my you, my son taught English over in China, and if you only knew, if the people here only knew. How these kids and the pressure they're put under in China. In China, yes, I they, agree. They, they must be taught Africa English the same way. in school, in school, and then they get tutors to yep. teach English. Yep. Then they're it's like twelve-hour days. Then you got to do an hour at home. I mean, of course, if you push that much, the you know the the, the, the smart are, are are going to come to the top. But then they're surpassing us in the world. 
What do you mean they're surpassing us? In education, which will bring... Well, of course but, they're surpassing us. But then us. that creates jobs, technology, and everything else. I don't want it to be born over there. I want the technology in our wealth to grow in America. Okay, so you're not saying that America is the best country in the world, then? We haven't been for years. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, he says that America <laughs> is not the best country in the world. I disagree with him. But do you know that we're 20th in infant mortality and Cuba is 19th? Did you know that? I did not. I just made that up. Oh, okay. No, no, no. no that's, <laughs> Al says you do that. <laughs> in, in, in the uh, speaker guy. Oh, yeah. I yeah. did this a lot with Bill, Bill O'Brien. <laughs> and one day he goes, that's not true. I said, I just so he knew up. the fact. You know, he was uh, yeah. a, a lot of fun. Okay, so politically, where are we going? What's going on? Well, but uh, just real quick on the Department of Education. Okay. Like Trump, Cruz in the top. I think even, I don't know if Rubio says it, but I think he's close. Why send a dollar down there and get 78 to 81 cents back with huge restrictions? Why can't our Department of Education and our school boards do the same and in New Hampshire? Then, of course, if they did that, they would have to grow here in, in the state. And where's the money coming from? I don't think they do where's need the money to grow. Coming from? We'll be getting our own money back. That we're sending a dollar down and only getting 81 cents. We'll oh, keep that I dollar. See. So we're helping people, states like Mississippi and They'll Rhodes still have their and money. stuff. Roads. That's. I mean, the, road, I mean, they get highways and no, bridges. No, that's and, in the gas tax. Yes. The what? Say that again. Go ahead. I didn't hear you. We're helping the bureaucrats. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. You know, I love it. the the fact is that Republicans have a bit of truth in what they say. Is there waste in everything? You bet. There's waste. Are Not we the best? Business. Are we the best company uh, country in the world? We're we're the best. But guess what? We've got to wake up and we we've got to go a little bit quicker and we've got to get a little bit better. You say it's fat. There are too many people. Yep. So let's get rid of the IRS. Nobody's going to collect the money. Who's going to collect the money? Are you just are you going to hire just bill collectors? No. What they said is um, uh, Forbes. What, remember, what they said? No, you don't what, know? For, no, what Forbes said, when was it? Back in 1980s, the flat tax. Okay. I support that because oh. then everybody pays it, even the drug dealer that's making cash in the lady of the evening. So when she makes $200 or the lady of the, or the man of the evening, you know, makes $200, you know, selling his wares, uh, you know, and he goes to the store. He pays a tax. He pays a tax on what he buys. Yes, and I'm kind of looking at that oh, going, wait you know a minute. what, that oh, almost I works. I thought you didn't want taxes. How stupid I, of me. I don't. Let's pay more taxes. No, <laughs> we we'll get rid oh, of the income tax. I love it. See, the, see, I told you there's a little bit of truth. You can go to a and flat tax. And then it goes nuts. Or do a flat tax on your pay. Everybody knows this is the way it should go. It's not going to happen. Well, when, when Bernie Street, Bernie Street, I keep saying Bernie Street, the, the <laughs> former mayor, uh, uh, Bernie Sanders, when he says that the, the banks and uh, the insurance companies are, are running the country, it's true. I, I mean, agree. Commerce, I agree. Banking and insurance, if you only knew some of the, the stuff that Republicans put through regarding some stuff in insurance, you, you'd freak out. You'd freak uh, out. Yeah, but you know, Hassan, you would really Hassan's freak out. right there with them. With the Republicans? No, pa passing this garbage. Excuse That's me. Giving more power to the health. E excuse me. How about expanded Medicaid? Ex well, hold That's going to make the hospitals excuse me, it's richer. It's the Republicans who put this this uh, tax thing through. Well, what, the, what are you which talking one? about? Which they, one? And so you won't know. Okay. I can't, it's, it's too complicated to explain. It is very complicated. All right. I, the, you, and you know when we get into this. That's okay. That's how he gets out of answering. <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> Shut up, God. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll kick your ass later. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what he is? He's like, he, he breaks my, 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 my stride. Now he's got me. Now he knows that. I wonder if Al texts his. 
Well, they, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. See, no, Al's no. probably got a live stream camera in Yeah, here. I know. So I, then he texts his... I don't think so. And Someone go, would have to show him how to use it. <laughs> That's terrible. Kenny should Well, his that. beautiful wife would show him. Oh, yeah. She is. She isn't she a sweetheart? She is. Yeah, very nice lady. Yeah, you know, she really is, and she's really into the politics. Yes, yeah. Yeah, my wife's not. Yeah, and, you know, my, and, and she, every time she sees him on TV or something, she's proud, and, oh, yeah. and this continues Al down the wrong road, <laughs> <laughs> the bumpy road. He takes his family with him. Yeah. We like Al. Oh, I do, too, but a few people at the State House says, you're friends with Al, and I say, oh, I love Al. He's a great guy. How is he going to get into this State House? I said, we've got two double doors. You know, because it's, you know, because he's down oh, in South oh, Carolina, oh, 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 uh, you oh. know, hobnobbing, and and I said, if his head grows a little, we can get him in here. Well, I've I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Listen, if you're a Democrat and you would like to come on this show uh, for five minutes and say whatever you want to, we'll put a chair here, the camera will go on you. You can yell and scream at us, or you can give your opinion. And in fact, if you're good, you can stay for the full hour. Uh, that's Republicans and or Democrats, because we want to open. Public access TV, absolutely. Up, because public access TV is the only true, yes, the only true type of TV. Yep, it is. Nothing else. Yeah. I mean, nobody would put up with a stupid person like me on the air. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, so they me. wouldn't have you on the air. Well, that's it. I've been doing my show six years now, and I'm going, who's watching this thing? But when I go to the store, people tell me, "Hey, I love your show." Well, yes, it, 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 I'd like to let people know, it, other than God, okay, talking, <laughs> uh, talking in, uh, we have no commercials. No. And how many of these people can sit around and do one hour with no commercials? And this, this, this is what we're going to do is we're, yes. we're, we're, we're making up names for Trump. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, uh, so if you really want to come on, if you think this is uh, uh, important, you know, call the station, let us know. My telephone number, by the way, is 603-864-9332. You give me a call, why don't you come on or at least give your opinion, and you, they can get you how. Yeah, uh, I give my home phone number right out, 624 50 Eight four is my home number. And we will give it out again at the end of the show. Yes. We've got about 16 minutes left yeah. of it. But I just wanted to let people know. I try every week to let people know that public access is the only true, true TV. Yeah. Now, one thing I am doing with my show, uh, and I'll share with you because I don't know if you want to do this because I think it's going to be hilarious. Have you ever listened to Howie Carr? I think he's out of Boston. Yes. Yeah. He has the chump line. Okay. Where, pe you know, it's, it's a non-manned you know, telephone number. People call in and he'll say, tell me about Trump. Tell me about Clinton. Or tell me about Bernie. Whatever the subject is or about Boston area or New Hampshire. I want to have, I don't know what it's going to be called, the Burt line or whatever it's going to be called. And I want to do that to Goffstown. Say, Goffstown, call in this number and you leave a short message. You do message. it live? No, it's a short message. They leave. Oh, oh, I see. And then later, the next show, I'll say, you know, and we'll, it'll fill up four or five minutes of my show. I'll say, these are the calls, and I'll play both pro and cons of both sides. I, I think, think that's a great idea. I think he'll be hilarious. Yeah. So I'm going to steal it from uh, Howie from Carr. Howie Carr. You know, I'm stealing long, it from you. Yeah, as long as I don't call it the chump line, but i got to figure it's out how. <laughs> yeah, you know, because if I call it that, I imagine he'll sue me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want that. He sues everybody. All right. <laughs> but so i got to figure out how to. I think it's a good idea. Record, you know, get the answering machine, but how do I get it off the answering machine to the set? i got to figure that part out. Well, Richard's oh, over God, here. Yeah. He, he can, yes. oh, well, God, so, God can figure out. So he can he do can anything. Do that. I think it would just yeah. be hilarious. I think it would. You know what I'd like to do, because I, I've done this before on the radio. I've gone out and talked to people on well, the street. Well, you used to be live, right? Oh, so yeah. So people would call in? I, not only live, I would do it all myself. In other words, there wasn't even a five-second delay. Wow. That's how live it was. And some of the things that Well, what would you do if air. some guy calls up and went, beep, beep, beep? Well, the... the your, your mind is set for it. Someone gets to the point. No one, no one ever says anything uh, on the radio very calmly and then says a swear. 
they usually wind up to it. And you're you're ready oh, right there so with the buttons. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, you know, you can, I mean that's got to be a different animal than this show. Oh yeah, radio was. Uh, yeah. But there was, was a lot of problems. I kept getting fired. Yeah. I've been fired from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I was it was WSMN. I got fired from there. Then I went over to WTW. I got fired from there. Then WSMN was bought from new people. I went over there. Then I got fired, and uh, the other station was sold. So I went over there. So I went to the same station twice. I got fired twice. Now, if you're a Republican, you probably wouldn't have got fired. Is that what you did know? It? You know, <laughs> I you know I would never thought of that. I got to tell you a story about that. The station was sold to a, a ultra Republican. I'm talking, uh -oh. we're talking a big Republican, all right? Uh, so I get the second interview with Al Gore. Uh, really? In fact, he's coming up over the mountain, you know, from Peterborough, and his phone keeps, and he keeps calling back. This is a great show. We've got uh, five minutes, and finally, well, I got the I got the Secret Service phone, and this will work. And that goes out. Then he comes up. I mean, it's a great show. Next day, he calls me. He says, uh, "We have political difference. We have differences," and fires me. So the station, when they heard I got fired, they called me. I said, "Why did you get fired?" And I told him. He says, "I believe you. You're hired." It's true. Uh, but so I mean, <laughs> I got literally fired because I had the you know, the Vice President of the United States on. Wow. Not many people can say that. No, no, they can't. And that, that's just factual. Yeah. Just be thankful, public access, we can't fire you. Yes. <laughs> we can get fired here. Yes, but you can keep on talking. <laughs> 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 Turning the mics off. You know, I did a whole show once when the mic wasn't on. Yes, you did. Well, it was with me. With you? <laughs> yeah. I was watching it in Goffstown, and, you know, people could hear... You know, here I am talking, hi, Ken, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you would come on. And yeah. Like, uh, well, that, that upset Richard. Well, I thought something happened at GTV. And so I called, you know, I sent an email over, and they're like, it's not us. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> well, the, these things happen, uh, honestly. Now, is your mic on today? Yes, it is. So it <laughs> but the battery's got to be dead by now. The battery's now. dead by now, yeah. <laughs> I, I know that. But... Uh, and, you know, we can do this on public access, but we can't do that anywhere else. And, and hopefully we're giving you a little idea of what the, the weird things that happen on, you know, TV. This is live. I don't think they'll cut this up. Well, not out. You know my friend Rachel uh, Voltman uh, in Goffstown? Yes, I do. I think you're going to agree with this because one thing she said, she goes, you know why I love your show? And I said, why, Rachel? She goes, I like when you talk, but when you have a guest, you let them finish talking. She says we're, like on the mainstream media, I won't mention any names, but, you know, they cut them right off. I don't agree with you. I like cutting people right off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, we can have a talk where if it's, you know, the presidential candidate is on for six minutes, I mean, it's going to be question, 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 you know, answer, answer. And you don't get in to see the person all the way. And, you know, the problem is, and we're, I'll get back to public access TV, if we had a candidate come in, he'd get more than six minutes. That's he'd it. Get two hours. Yeah. Kasich it's, came it, on my it, show. Well, not Kasich, but uh, uh, Senator Humphrey came on my show to speak of Kasich. Humphrey was on my radio show. Yeah. And, I mean, you know. I've had senators, he, vice presidents. Uh, but, anyway, let's get, let's get back to uh, the politics. Well, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the state house. What's happening up there with you? I'm hearing a lot of bills. I'm on criminal justice, and, boy, do we got a lot of bills. You still hearing bills? Yes, we heard them today. I was out there every, every day How this week. How many bills did you uh, We today? had, I think, about 72, 74. We beat you. Really? I believe commerce has more. But and you're you know, done? Yeah, yeah, we're not done. Oh, okay. I was we're not done. Because it's a ghost town up there today. Nobody was there. Well, there was a few people, but. I mean, <clears throat> I, I, to, to explain this to people is uh, the we can only file bills, the representatives. You, yes. you hire a representative. We are the only ones who can fire, uh, have, you know, put a bill together. Yeah. Uh, so what that means, if you, as Ward 6, wishes me or even Nashua 
would like something up there done, you would come to me and we would put the words together. Yes. We would take it to legislative services, which put it in legalese, right? Yep. And they would also check the statues, et cetera. I mean, so, and then the bill would be uh, put into, let's say, a stack in the uh, both, uh, well, it would be. Well, the, I think the Speaker of the House, the Speaker of the House dictates where it goes. So he has a team of people that. A team, yeah. You know, that says this needs to go to Fish and Game, this needs to go to Municipal, this needs to go to Commerce. Okay, so now justice. that has happened. Yep. Now it comes up before you. Yes. Uh, like, yeah. You know, it's, it's in the committees today. We had a bunch of hearings, I think six or seven. What were some of the things that came up? Uh, well, last, well, earlier this week, we had the one to ban flamethrowers. Flamethrowers? In New Hampshire, and I didn't know flamethrowers. You ban? I didn't ban them. I, I, put, I flame, made the motion wait, wait to ITL the bill, and the I, bill then ITL. Flame, what's flamethrowers? What do you, what do, you mean guns? Well, no, you know, those things that you hold and, you know, like a flamethrower. To ban, okay. So, uh, well, it was one of your representatives on your side that put it in. Uh, you know, and I like her, uh, Representative Rogers, a nice lady, well, but. Uh, we had, uh, we had carnivals this, this week, uh, licensing for carnivals. Is you that see, over the uh, incident up in? No, 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 no. Oh, Act, actually, no. Oh, that had not, nothing to not do at with all. It. Not yeah. at all. They did something wrong, dishonestly. Yeah. But you know, there's no licensing or, uh, or inspections for for the the lines. You know that you hop on and you go two or three miles on. Did you know there's 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 no buddy? Well, I shouldn't say that. They do it every day. They do it every hour. They check it, but the state does not look at it. But is, a, is that an issue? Yeah, it, it should be. Because uh, th there are people who, are, who will be getting hurt, definitely, or have or have already got hurt. But you don't hear about that. Nobody's got killed as far as I know. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, in, in my eyes, the government should stay out of most private businesses other than, you know, small things. You know, like making sure that it's a work, safe work, you know, which that may be the issue. You know, safe work environment. So if they have to inspect the cables. Well, so. you know, I, I, I agree with you. And Bart, I'm going to. Can I get a recording of that? <clears throat> sure you. Well, <laughs> no, I don't agree with you. Do but, you agree with Al Baldessero? No, definitely not okay. with Al Baldessero. I, I, I was just trying uh, to, no, 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 know, no, no. So we, to get we, this on tape. We don't want that to come out. But we had a Republican who, listen to this, hawkers have been licensed in New Hampshire since 1931. Now, what this means for a hawker, that means people go, can go door-to-door -door selling. But Nashville has a license also where you have to get a hawker's license in Nashville. I think we are seeing that bill. Did you? Commerce? Yes, that was, uh, yes. We oh, sent, so you passed it. We sent it. it over to you. Okay. Okay, well, no, it's already passed. That, oh, that, so, to repeal the state side. Yes, so yes. what happened was the Secretary of State says, look, uh, this has been here a long time, and if, you know, in cities have laws, but small towns don't. They have nothing. So you, what you're saying is every small town should have a law, so every hawker to go into that town has got to get their license too? So 500 licenses to do any business in New Hampshire, right? No, well, I guess technically, yeah. All right. Yeah, so well, I wouldn't support that he, then, the way he, that's he ex explained it. He repealed it. it. So now there's no licensing other than the cities. Uh. That's it. So people come to your door and you say, you got a license? Nope. They don't need one anymore. How's that? I wonder how long that's going to last. Well, but the town can enact it. But then you'd have, have to have and the how 200, many what towns is it, 87? are you going to do it? 287 right. towns. Exactly. So yeah. that's the problem. But they, a Republican came in and they repealed it, and they went to the House floor, and you guys have that pink sheet, and you repealed it, so now hawkers don't have to have licenses once they leave the cities. Well, it has to go to the Senate. And then, True. And then your governor has to sign it. True. So Absolutely it's, it's true. It's not a done deal yet. 
I think it's pretty much a done deal. You think you're, you're yeah. the governor's well, going to sign it? Well, it, it's a kind of a done deal because it's an election year. I mean, the big election year. Yeah. This is when, you know. Well, she's it, forgotten it, about us. Silly, she's on to the. Oh, come on. She's forgotten about us. She has. She's, all she's she... the best governor we've, we've had. And, and I would yeah. say better than Lynch, for God's sake. No. Lynch oh, was yeah. a better governor than her. Well, I don't agree. He was better to the kids, I tell you that. He's better to the kids. She treats kids poorly? Uh, not poorly, but when Governor Lynch went into my classes to see the Goffstown kids, he sat right down with them, and I mean, you know, the kids loved them. She comes in, and, and she, you know, she almost talks above them, and it's like, come on, Governor Hassan, don't do this. Oh, so she went to get on the floor and play blocks. And so you don't like a governor. But, there you no. go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is how a Republican is. They I want the governors on the floor playing blocks with that's the kids. That's right. It's all about the kids. So, so <laughs> we, should we write it's better, a... It's better doing that than passing taxes. Yes. So there we go. See? God yeah. again. All right. <laughs> uh, by the way, governors don't pass taxes. Uh, they sign them into law. We're the ones who, who put them up there. And they sign them into law. Yes. Or that's right. Or just let them, let them rest. Yes. If you just let a, a bill rest. Uh, what, uh, uh, five uh, or ten days. Five or ten days. When it comes to the, it just automatically, yeah. you know, automatically passes. Yeah, like my constitutional carry bill. You know, I was hoping that Governor Hassan would just kind of push it over to the side and forget about it for ten days, if that's the number. Yeah. And just, oh, I don't know how that passed. But, in which meant? Uh, that I won't need a license from the government, the police, or the selectmen, depending on... To that, carry a gun. To carry a gun. And so everybody can get a gun and everybody can carry a gun? No. No? The, the laws will still be, if you're a felon or you're uh, domestic violence, you still cannot get a gun. Well, what you're saying, but you, so, no, so nobody really knows you've got a gun. And, and that's what the way you, it's what, supposed what to be. Saying? That's the way it's supposed to be. The Constitution says that so the government can, does not have the... So you can carry a gun... Yep. Without a permit. You don't need a permit. That's right. A license, yeah. Do you know one-third of the deaths from guns are suicides? I Ladies don't think it was that number, no. One-third of the deaths with guns are suicides. That's a made-up number because I know for a fact two-thirds of the deaths are every weekend out in Chicago where they have the most gun laws. Oh, that's, oh, you're so Now, I bad. might have made up yeah, that you number. Know, I exaggerated oh, yeah. that right, number okay. a little. How can people get in touch with you? <laughs> uh, the best way is Facebook, because I have a lot of friends on Facebook. Uh, three quarters of them, or 90% of them, I don't know who they are. And it's under Burt? Yes, John A. Burt. Is it under representative? Nope, nope, it's a private Oh, Facebook. you're on Facebook? Any, yep. any place else? Uh, yeah, my home phone number, 624 uh, um, Six two four five zero eight four. And you never call it. I never call so, it, so I forget. So, so that's the reason why. Yes, and then you, YouTube. And uh, what's that other thing? Not um, Twitter. I, not that Twitter, but you talked about the other one. I still got to do that. What is the other thing? Oh, oh uh, Instagram. Yeah, I, I got to do that. All right, and my name is Ken Gidge, and you know how to get me. Just go to Gidge World. That is an art site, which I'm an artist. Telephone number is 864-9332. And, John, I want to thank you. Yes. I think we always have fun, don't Oh, we, we do. Yeah, all right, so we could get rid of Al. How are we going to get rid of him? <laughs> Well, I think he's going to be back. And ladies and gentlemen, Trump slump dump. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye.
The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.